All right. So, boys and girls, uh, we're going to be going blue cane against a melee jungler. It's pretty interesting. First things first, full mute all. Because, uh, you know, I, I don't really like to see team tilting. Teams tilt a lot in solo queue, so I figure I just cut myself out of the situation. They have an auto foil to carry. They have Oriana, GP, Shaco. A lot of interesting champions. I'm going to watch here level one. I'm going to start Trinket. Typically, the reason why it's good to start Trinket is because early on, you get a lot of value out of it. A lot of junglers, they like to put a trinket down and reset early. I don't like to reset early, because usually I'll go for one trinket for defense and one for offense. Against a Shaco, I'm not really sure if... Or the, my blue, please. Okay, so if I ask for a ward on my blue, I can actually get a double deep ward on the Shaco, and that'd be huge. I, I prefer my team to ward it. And, um... It's, it's set versus what do we call it? Set versus GP, so should be good to go no ignite with no no in, no leash because he has ignite. Alright, it doesn't look like they're gonna late invade either. That's good. I think they were just going for the early kill. Normally, you could tell if they're going to go for the late invade if they put a box or something. He does have ignite. I do have to be a little bit cautious. But I have my smite, so unless he, like, smites it. Does some cheeky stuff like that. It should be good. I yeah, just a little bit cautious here. I have my finger on the smite, so if he pops out of nowhere, I'll just smite immediately. Oh, there he is. Figured. Could do that. The fight will continue. Baco with the cheese. Early cheese. Wait, I always gotta be cautious. Players love to cheese. He lost himself jungle really hard, but sure he's happy that he set me behind so I can't get like an early snowball. Usually what these players aim for. I can't get the double deep ward sadly. Put a defensive control ward so I can farm my camp in peace. Okay, she warded that camp just trying to find out where I'm at. Trying to avoid letting them know where I'm at at like all costs here. Jaco could potentially look to cheese me again here. If he does his red and goes straight to my blue. Typically cheese junglers, they like to cheese you all game. Yeah, look, let's say he's heading over. He wants the scuttle though. Oh, wow, I died of the last tick there. I got double ignited. Yeah, well, I mean, she flash ignited on me. Nice. Got two kills there. So I knew just being able to go in and do what I did, it's good for us because we overall get more, more gold. I get two ingenious stacks. That's usually why as junglers, it's not bad to take like a death thread because you got two ingenious hunter stacks. They didn't really get much. I had to use a lot as well. Flashes, ignites. Double ignite and a flash. Oh, actually, I don't think Shaco had ignite. He ignited me earlier, didn't he? So I just one ignite. Come on. Damn, he got sniped. Let's try, though. Full aggro play. Really need set to rotate over. One of these games, huh? Yeah. 
really hoping Set would just walk down because, I mean, he has a guy advantage over GP, so he's a lot stronger for early fights. I guess 3 CS under tower was more worth for him than helping me out. It's how a lot of laners thing. That's why I don't really like care about axing laners or I have mastered every being selfish. A lot of them, they play really selfish. I don't know, it's just one of those games. Even if Zillion is getting like superior stuff, he, he's still not CSing. He's a support main, so support main trying to like out CS here is really doomed. And set dies. Let's go for the invid. Way too weak. I can't even get a gank on her if I wanted. Disastrous. Well, at least we have a 3 0 Ezreal. I don't know. This game is so, so sad. I even got my Krugs invaded. Wait, did I? Or no, I think this is just my level 1 Krugs. I never got finished. Wow. It says my Krugs are respawning soon. It's always bugged whenever the little one survives. It's not gonna spawn until two minutes. Two minutes, 15 seconds. It's already been over 15 seconds to I just say two minutes. Get boots, I guess. I'm gonna go in for form. Goes just looking to like perma fight and take all the scuttles on spawn. Good to remember. When I get my form, it'll be easy to punish him. Really easy. I don't know what Bart's doing here. Yeah, I got level six. I might miss my W on Lucian. Otherwise, I could have got two kills there. I killed Shaco though. That's good. I gotta catch up a little bit. Farm two camps while he's dead. Get another reset, maybe. Fighting an uphill battle is never easy, but if you get your four, everything gets equalized. All you need to remember. I didn't want to ult the Lucian because I didn't know if he had flash or not because you know, I play full me at all. But usually I just keep track of this, all the sums myself because I watch the map so much. Yeah, I get my top side camps. Go should be on the dragon. I can go take Raptors real fast and go to his Gromp and invade that. If I had a Gromp invade, that'd be huge. Right, let's see. Uh, no damage. Sag. Did use flash though. All right, we lost dragon. Be able to get Gromp and then his top or then my top side. No dive on the tower. Actually, maybe. He would get the wrong form, and that's like the biggest issue with that. But honestly, if I do get the dive off, that would help a lot. I just don't know if we have the damage, but I'm thinking maybe he does, because of his ult and his W. Maybe. Oh. 
card. Yeah. I got red form. I'll shove the wave in. So that's what I meant by I don't care about toxic lanes because typically, if I had to choose off who I want to play off of, this guy or myself, he's myself. <laughs> Confidence. Well, I could have got a plate there, but don't want to stay top too long. Otherwise, Shaco might try and kill me. Plus, Scuttle's as very close to dying to him. Yeah. Killing. He was going to just take this. Very dangerous. There's no ult, so she just dies. Draco might be dying here too. Got one kill though, that's kinda sucky. Need me or what? Ezreal's just really good at picking up these free kills, that's nice. Well, I went from being turbo behind to PCS up. Good. Form incoming as well, which is really nice. Yeah, just reset now. Get my tier 2 boots, get some bonus vision on the map. Vision is everything. Once you catch on to how they're cheesing, you have to just notice what camps they like and what they aim for. This guy, he just wants to fight every fight and he wants to take every scuttle, so... You have to play into the fights acting like you're gonna lose, but knowing when you're gonna win or when you're gonna lose. So if I knew that I had three and they only had two, to bait them into that fight long, it goes much in our favor, as you saw. Very much in our favor. Right here, this is just to lower my form timer. So this is just to like scare her a little bit. Get my form timer a little bit lower. He walks up, I'll just do that. Uh, well, I'm in. I get the solo on her. She's old. I lowered my form time by a lot, so now I get my form. Right as I spawn, that's really good. I gave up a little bit of my CS advantage because obviously I can't CS while I'm dead. But I put Ori a little bit behind and I put myself way in front because not only did I have a lead first form, but I got my form. So, pretty good. Uh, I don't really have anything to buy. I'm just going to save up for Prowlers. I don't think buying a longsword would just belong things that I need and want. So, I don't really do that. I can make it there. Probably still wouldn't want to fight it just because I don't know. We don't really have ults. I don't have ult. Dillian doesn't have ult. Looks like Shaco's heading up though for the uh, set. Try and like overextend. Maybe I could save his ass. Nice. Shaco still has ult. That's why I'm just gonna play safe. I'm gonna wait till my R is up and if GP stays, I'll kill him. Looks like he's going to. Okay, five, four, three. I didn't even need to use my ult there, that's huge. I to use my flash. Okay, I got Shaco's ult for free there, that's nice. We go back to farming here. Brianna's coming. A bit low on mana. It might look for me here. Let's see. No, it doesn't seem like it. He's just on the rift right now, and I'll just counter with the dragon. They already have their uh, support there, so I'll just tell my support to start it. I'm dead to Lucian here. Oh, I got CC'd for like three seconds in a row there, man. That was so shit. He's so tanky, too. 
Three level lead on him. Durability changes make Assassin so hard to play. He used so much there. Should be able to win this. At least we got the dragon, even though we got nothing else. The issue with this Ezreal is even though he got a bunch of free kills, he does not know how to play Ezreal. Pretty sure he's auto filled based off that fight alone. He is not hitting the shots at all. Could have got an easy quad there. That's really bad. That is really, really bad. Got the dragon though. Yeah, take the Raptors and I'll just dip. So, hmm. This account's definitely in loser's queue, by the way. This is, like, the fourth game where all my laners were not very reliable. Majority of them were just auto filled. No, I don't think I don't think I'd ever give this to Ezra after that last fight. He wants to argue with me. I literally just had to rewatch that last fight. See if he types anything. I'll just tell him to rewatch the last fight with me. He thinks he deserves blue after that. I'm sorry, man. Hell no. Oh, thanks for that sub. That's so much. Wait, I almost hit a ghost hook. Push up top out. Play tempo, play the map. 20 seconds to ult and prowlers, and I can make more plays aggressively on their team. Until then, I'm just gonna keep farming and shoving. Building pressure and priority. No one's here either. That's good. Make them miss this big wave. Bigo doesn't have ult, so if he does come, I just QE out. Someone's there. Not sure who exactly. Might be Shaco. It's top scuttle. Keep in mind, this guy's been playing for every scuttle on spawn. On the hour, by the hour. Oh, I think this is really free, to be honest. Shaco would be there. Uh, I don't want to greed for the tower, but it's fun. We got a kill trade. They sent three. We only had two, but unfortunately, we didn't get anything on the map done. They were on reset. It's fine. I mean, with their time invested, I can still get more out of this because, like I said, I can make these cross map plays a lot faster and a lot healthier. My bounce back is really immediate. There's no punishment. That's the good thing about Kane, is you don't get punished at all for, like, looking for aggressive plays inside lane or shoving out waves because you just E into your jungle and easily farm back like nothing. So they sent everyone top and we were able to send everyone bot, make a bot play. Now we just set up bot vision. I care for the picks and we should be fine. Uh, I mean right now. I'm gonna play like really ballsy. I can get Yumu's, but I think I'm just gonna get Serpents for 
Oriana, it's like a one-shot of promo. And that to be the best object objective. And then they also have uh, Sunfire, let's crank, and not Sunfire, um, Lock it. Lock it, lock it. I just forget the name of it. Lock it. Oh, GP's not even here, so this is really bad for them. Because let me tell you here, one thing, GP splitting, it's not worth anything. Ah, oh, she used ult ignite. Ash ult ignite. GP getting- I was gonna say, GP getting that top tower is really bad, but because of what just happened- I don't know how we lost this fight so hard. There's no sums. Oh, they play so scared. I had to check if this guy's autofilled or not. I'm curious now. Dangerously? He's not, he mains AD carry. Be just a KDA player, sometimes they play like that. Those KDAs are pretty bad, I don't know. I can't really get a read on this guy, it's really awkward. Like right now, he should be kite. kite. That was not uh, yeah, I don't know. NA high elo is such a fucking meme nowadays, I swear. fight them right now. Orion is no flash nor ignite, so I'm just gonna look to immediately kill her whenever I have the opportunity to. P is pretty easy to kill. That last play we should have killed them all but Ezreal had full HP and both sums which is just so weird. I, I don't get it how this guy's playing. Oh well, they don't have any vision. Didn't set down any vision. Lucian's splitting by himself and he has no defensive. I mean, no, 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 no. I don't need any help. Go do your thing. Wow, he ran straight down, just eat immediately. Okay. I got them really low, but I wasn't able to actually get a killing blow on anyone, sadly. GP splitting is actually might win them the game because our fights are so bad that how scared we play in them. Like right now, the only way we get come out ahead on this is if we get the Baron. Hopefully we can, because we did just kill Shaco and Blitz. Okay, we should be good then. Alright. Like they're playing really sloppily. This game is very like I don't know. I don't I don't it. There's not really much basis to it. Like Set is making the assassin tank but... and Bard. Set and bar, two different people. And the issue with that is when you're tanking it, you do it a lot slower because you have a 50% damage reduction. So you should never make the high damage source tank it. The reason why you don't want to rush objectives like this is if they have a big AoE ultimate, which is Oriana ult, then yeah, they can easily just wipe you very clean. Thankfully, Oriana isn't able to play as aggressive because she used Flash ult ignite for me last fight. And with how her champ's designed, she can't really look to like do that. Unless it's like a game-winning Flash ult ignite. But it wasn't really one. Or just a solo one on Kane. Whenever she uses Flash, I could just track her Flash timer with my Flash timer. And I just know it's the same time. Alright. Well... As awkward and weird as this game might be, it goes to show how games are always winnable from start to finish. Because this game started really bad for me, but now I'm really ahead. Three level lead, pretty confident. Just gonna look for a pick in side lane. Ideally, I should have someone side lane pot, but Zillion and Set are both top. And I don't really know why. If anything, if they wanted to do that play, they should have both been bot. Because top is not really that, not that ideal of a lane to go into. You want to look for bot. Alright, see, so that's usually what you want to do. Usually you want to make that play with your team, but I just figured I'd make the play by myself at this point. It's a little riskier going on on your own, but if you hit everything, it'd be a walk in the park. Stacking a big cannon right here. 
Big caddy. You want to see something crazy? I, I walk away. I give it the buff, and now I can hit the tower. Hey, look, Cannon's still alive. Look, I'll keep him alive. Alive here. Operation keep Big Cannon alive. I have a double caddy stack, but... Could have just got bot tower, but I figured I'd give that Oriana some some love back because she just gave me a lot of love earlier. I have Zillion R, so I'm not gonna look turbo aggressive here. Oh, nice! He hit the Q on him. Kind of just forgot where I was. They were like, huh. Insta here? I don't know. Maybe. Nice. Yeah, playing with Zillion, you kind of get to play a lot more crazier. Oi, I was not in range to W. Play that really greedy. I should not have played that so greedy. Nice. Good. All right, we win now. The early half of this game was like pulling teeth, but I ended up with a four level lead on the enemy Shaco. Sorry, I saw you. If you ever get cheese, just know that they cheese because they don't know better. They, they don't know how to play the jungle properly. <laughs> we enjoyed the game.